Hey guys, Fakunos Meister here with Android Police. There's plenty of devices that have and still will receive the Android Oreo update, but the flagships that I wanted to focus on in this video come from OnePlus, specifically the 5 and 5T. This is because the latest Android Oreo update, which is Oxygen OS 5.0.1 or Open Beta, they included some exclusive features and design tweaks that you may find useful and won't find anywhere else. Now both phones have different versions available with the OnePlus 5 having Open Beta 4 and the stable version 5.0.1 and the 5T only having Open Beta 2, but they still have most of the same features and Oreo goodies. Starting with the launcher, even though I still use Nova for the extra customization, I've always appreciated the OnePlus launcher because it doesn't look outdated, everything is fast and smooth, and you even get some features that most stock launcher apps don't have such as the option to change the icon pack, home screen layout, the shelf panel, and shot on OnePlus to automatically change your wallpaper on the daily. With the new Oreo update though, it looks even better than before with a few more bells and whistles. For example, the app shortcuts, folders, widget panel, and app drawer have a new design which I think look beautiful. On top of that, the drawer search function now includes category tags for your apps, the clock icon is dynamic, folders will auto name themselves, and it automatically backs up and restores your home screen layout using your Google account. If we hop into the settings, there's a couple new features. You have the expected changes such as the removal of the setting sidebar, a new looking battery section, storage and memory, and so forth. But some of the exclusive OnePlus Oreo features include the OnePlus Switch app, which is now included as the default part of the settings in the advanced menu. This will let you migrate most of your data from your previous phone, including contacts, messages, call history, and more. In the same menu, there's a new option called Quick Clipboard, which pops up a tab when you copy text and lets you edit, search, translate, or share it. The lift up display has a new pretty design to show you the time, date, icons of your notifications, and battery level. Lastly, within the quick settings, the layout is a bit more compact and the edit menu to add or remove tiles is much more organized, so it's easier to manage. Those are all the new, unique features presented so far in the OnePlus Oreo update. Of course, you also get picture in picture mode to keep watching your videos on any screen, autofill to automatically fill in your usernames and passwords for websites and apps when using third party apps such as LastPass, smart text selection, the new notification interface, and more. I also wanted to point out that if you get the Oreo update for the OnePlus 5, you will also get the face unlock feature found on the 5T and it works just as well. In my opinion, OnePlus did a great job of implementing Android Oreo into Oxygen OS, even though it did take them a while to push out the update, and it's only on Android 8.0.0 and not Android 8.1. They paid attention to the tiny details, the new design tweaks and animations look great, you still have all the old exclusive OnePlus features found in Android Nougat, battery life is even better, and the interface is still fast and smooth. If you want to get the latest Oxygen OS open beta ROM for some Oreo goodness on your OnePlus 5 or 5T, I'll leave both links right below that like button. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Smash that thumbs up button if you did. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about the OnePlus Oreo update. Or if you already have it, then let me know your thoughts and opinions on it. Get subscribed for more awesome Android content, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.